doing what we time. saw is an unjustified killing of John Crawford so call it murder call it manslaughter call it whatever you want today that attorney and his clients John Crawford's parents were able to view part of the Walmart security video for the first time Kelly May continues our team coverage she's live in Beaver Creek Kelly yeah, that's right. Today was the first time family were able to watch that security video. The suspect's father and family attorney watched just a few minutes of it today, saying it's both compelling and upsetting. The community says it's time to release it. Uh, it was just unbelievable. That's all I could tell you. Uh, I pray that no one ever, ever has to go through what we're going through. It's unconscionable. That's John Crawford Jr. after watching about four minutes of security video for the first time the night his son was shot and killed by Beaver Creek police inside a local Walmart. The family and their attorney viewed the footage with Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine, whose office is investigating the shooting. Viewing the video, it has confirmed what we believe, that John H. Crawford III was murdered. This was an unarmed man holding a BB gun getting shot and killed by a customer inside of a store. I hope the attorney, Mr. Attorney General does his, his duty and uh, you know we'll just have to wait and see. The Attorney General instructed those who've seen the tapes not to disclose any specifics. When everyone sees this video it would illuminate the the issues of, of this particular case. Mr. Crawford was doing nothing wrong. But then again, who knows? Only the cop knows what was, you know, what it was for him to do that. For the community, releasing the videos to the public means answering questions. All the videos should be. Mm -hmm. Why are they holding it? You know, it's hard for the general public really not having seen it or been there to know what else might be involved really. And the police was looking out for themselves too at the same time. But no, they didn't have to take it that far. Now, Crawford's family attorney also said today they believe that this grand jury will result in the prosecution of those two Beaver Creek police officers involved. We're, of course, keeping you updated as the case moves forward. Reporting live in Beaver Creek tonight on Kelly May Fox 45 News.